Velocity was a project funded by OSEF and BASE and facilitated by Innovate UK. In eVelocity, we're trying to help consumers monetize the investment in electrical vehicles by using vehicle-to-grid technology. We expect the electrification of transport to bring significant challenge to the energy system. Vehicle-to-grid can help us by offering extra storage facilities from the batteries from vehicles that are moving across the cities. The Velocity project was looking at carbon, cost and conditioning, looking at reduction of carbon emissions from transport and the energy systems, looking at reducing the cost for consumers and looking at conditioning the battery for a better life. The introduction of funding by Innovate has allowed us to produce this demonstrator project and to take uh, risks that perhaps would not be able to be taken otherwise. We have the right support and subsidy to try out new kinds of chargers and new systems and that allows us to go a little faster and a little further than we would do otherwise. In terms of saving costs, we're finding that chargers like this could save an individual vehicle maybe £100 a year in fuel savings. But also, if uh, the tariff situation is right um, for the wider facility, then that might stretch to two, three, perhaps even £400. And the partners over at Warwick Manufacturing Group at the University of Warwick have found that it, with the right strategy, we can extend the life of the electric vehicle battery by between 8 and 12%. And, and if a typical EV lasts maybe nine years, that's another year on its life, which is worth an awful lot more. My name is uh, Alison Morgan. I'm a Acting Site Security Manager for the University of Nottingham. I was part of the project to introduce an electric vehicle to the security section. We have more ups and downs and we have more challenges than most fleets within the university. So for us to be able to say, well, actually, yes, we can go and we can look at an electric vehicle is more financially costful for us. 